Laid. Episode 1. Jaunty Music Song. There's one pet I like to pet, and every evening we get set. I stroke it every chance I get. It's my girl's pussy. Often it goes out at night, returns at break of dawn, no matter what the weather's like. It's always nice and warm. I bring tidbits that it loves, we spoon like two turtle doves. I take care to remove my gloves when stroking my girl's pussy. And the entire process should take about 35 minutes. Okay, so I'll start. I say it and you repeat. And that way you'll know what to do when it's your turn. My name is Rue McVee. Repeat it back all drove. My name is Rue McVee. Great. Now put your own name in there, obviously. And there's a little bit and then a little about your, about yourself. My name's David Miller. I'm forty. I'm thirty three. I like Super Tramp. My favourite type of aircraft is the Gulf War period flighter planes. I'm twenty seven. I have nine kids, a dog and a bird. Kids are named in alphabetical order, just for something different. I'm not trying to have twenty six or anything, but you know. If I, if I had more time, I'd like to start a company with my brother, where at school. We're at school events, sporting events, we offer haircuts to parents. Usually there's a coffee cart. We, we wouldn't do haircuts. Right, great. And this is when you tell us when you think you're about Sawyer. Remember, there's no right or wrong answers in vertical research. Just your own. So hands up here. Who gets a little roused by just looking at this? That is hypothetical. Hypothetical. Just a joke. Sorry. What? Uh, positive. Yep. Negative. Yep. Did this, did they give a reason? Uh, they said it tastes like sock. Just one sock? Just sock. Singular. Ah, oh, yep. Hmm? What now? Somebody likes you. What? What did they say? Ask if you're signal? Single? Signal? Single? Or if not obvious, it's your hair. Who is it? Okay. Do you see who did that? They're not getting paid. Brilliant responses. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions about the head off before you head off to the alcoholic cider session? Yes. Where will you be taking next session to? Sadly, no. Oh, you'll be, you'll be in capable hands, lovely Darren groaning. Oh, come on. Just, he's a tar, a retard. No. It's not a very PC word. Okay, yes. So your signal, mate. That's, that's crossing a line. Oh, yeah. Your face crosses a line, mate. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Your face crosses a line. Okay, just calm down. I'm only trying to defend you from Mr. Sex Predator over there here. Oh, Mr. Se- oh, Sex Predator. You're not the boss of me, you know, are you? So why are you, you, why don't you eat this? Mate, just some figging soya chips. Want some more? Okay, let's not ruin the leftovers. Just leave it. More? Woman, they're fucking bagpipes, man. A present for you. A present. I walked in and you're playing them because you said you love Jimmy, Johnny Farham. And I said I love Johnny Cash like six months ago. I'll take you it like you ever listened. Take you, f- take your fucking fag price and get out. Good evening. Oh, can you please tell him to take this fucking Crocs out of the bathroom while he's at it? Zach, would you mind if I hear her? I can hear her. You are not deaf. You might want to add that only people who wear these, those socks or midwives and child molesters. And even they don't get, even they don't get the orange ones. They're fire engine red anyway. Volunteered to ask for an alcoholic cider group, but it was already taken. Remember, it was you who wanted to go bush walking in the first place. Door slams. Scale one to ten, size eleven. Point three. Gotta go. Gone, gone. Do you think it'll stick? Time will tell. Try the chocolate. Tastes like su- Sweena. Steiner kid smell. Voicemail. Why, why she see it at 5.25 p.m. Woman. Love it, Mum. Look, I tried to call you at the office and they said you left for the day. I'm not sure I heard the news. I'm not sure if you've heard the news. If you haven't, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Brendan Atterton is dead. Never thought about Brendan Atterton for, in ten years. I wish he was better than bed. So this moment wasn't so awkward for you. He's an arse, he was an arse clown who dies from an allergic, allergic reaction to Carver. So you know what? 
I never told you this. One time at uni, when he went past you in the corridor, he licked your hair. Like no one ever saw it. He just changed his mind. He walked past you, he says, like, so I was uni, he went, yep. I was, I don't, I didn't tell you. I thought he just freaked you out. That's sad. Poor Brendan Atherton. Poor me, I had to sleep with him twice. Two times too many. Let's treat to Brendan Atherton. In, it's what he would want, would have wanted. I think he would have wanted to go to get a pizza as well. Music plays softly. It's weird, isn't it? When someone dies, you don't know very well. You knew him bi- biblically. What? But not spiritually. Brendan Atherton and his tiny, te- tiny testicles. That's right. He had a weird little ba- bell bag. Hmm. Your little precious little fresh marbles are gonna gonna be a name for my cover band. Good choice. Thank you. You've been fresh marbles. Do testicles keep growing after you, that you die? No, that's just hair and nails. Oh, poor uh, Brendan Atherton. I wonder if your technique improved. Poor Brendan Atherton. Do you want this when you're done? When you're done, do you know one of the, my ex-boyfriends died on Tuesday? Oh, he didn't really, he wasn't really a boyfriend. He just slept together a couple of times at uni. Wow, it's incredibly tragic. Yeah, the poor guy. He was always good, if you know what I mean. I think he might have learnt about women's bodies from a scene in a Revenge of the Nerds when they drilled a hole in the locker room. I mean, it's tragic that he died. Very tragic. It was awful. He drank so much carver, he OOD'd. He opened him up. He was like a giant mud brick. A giant, very drunk, bogan mud brick. You could start building your bogan tree train's dream house with him. I mean... F- I mean... I, you could start building your bogan tree train's dream house with him. I happen to find the subject of death relatively amusing. What? don't know him that well. Still, that someone did... Um, his family? I'm not. I'm not saying it's funny. I'm just saying, when you think about it, that drinking that much carver, it's a relatively funny way to die. You've got a relatively warped sense of humour, if you find it funny. I have an excellent sense of humour. I don't see how it's, this is relevant. My tire, it's entirely relevant. Condensed milk is strongly linked to comedy. What does it mean by snap dick, stick? Laugh, so come on, everyone knows what slapstick is. It's a pie in the face, that kind of thing. I don't find that very funny. Oh, there you go then. You put down not funny next to that option. I like two and a half men though. You do you? Last year, fat kids are classic. Yes, he is. Oh, well, you put that down then. Oh, just a man I was coming to see. I think I find out, found out that four. I think you'll find that four out of five condensed milk drinkers find gallow humans funny. So we apply the survey results to the conversation. I take it that it's your ex-partner, sighs precious memories. It really danced around the whole human house brick thing, haven't they? But can they say that they're keen to take it further? I'm really surprised at the way you, you, you're behaving with this. What are you talking about? He's a person too, a human being, I know. I think I might be using humour as a defence mechanism. Don't touch me. Oh, he had five over 500 friends. Woman, don't do it. You're only making things worse. Yeah, you haven't. You, but you haven't seen his little mag, MySpace pictures. They're really quite sweet. His religious views things on Facebook says, Bindi's my god. Presumably means the drink and not the seal killer. How did you get get access to his Facebook profile? Who found his pending friend? Verdi's pending friend request. Jude, this is supposedly morbid. Oh my god, what? He's an adult ma- matchmaker. Oh my god. Go, he refers to himself as a cocky jockey. Who says that? Oh, the, the pictures, yes. Oh my, oh my god, quick. Give me the U, uh, U, URL. Go to the adult matchmaker homepage and then click on men. Do locally. He's the third one down. Okay, hang on a sec. You're going, to, you're going to see this picture. He's got like, a, well, I think it's a jabberia, but I didn't see its head. Hang on, hang on. Oh my God, nice eye can, candle. Nice eye ear candle. See, computer hums loudly. Shit. 
Rock woman's size, my computer's a spazzed out shin, a mentoring woman. Ladies and gents, I had a major meltdown over here. I've see too. Please tell us, me, someone, say the August Ospetrix to serve shareware. We're supposed to gotta go. Derek, you got, you, can you get IT? Have you figured out what the problem is yet? The new IT guy's looking at it now. Shouldn't it be long? Bit of coincidence, isn't it? The computer should crash today of all days. Why is that? I don't you know what today is. Samuel L. Jackson. Shh. Looks like a bit of mess. Yeah, it should be back online this afternoon. Oh, though. It's probably a little bit difficult to suss out the origins of these types of things. Of it, is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. I've not that hard. It's not that hard when you stitch, shift through it. It's kind of like the process of elimination. Hi, hi, really? And then I think he says Samuel L. Jackson was involved with 9-11 or something along those lines. I wasn't sure it being racist or didn't say anything. What do you mean? Oh, about whether you know black people responsible. Oh, no, no. Just because he thinks Samuel Jackson, L. Jackson is actually a spy. Oh, but he's a bit of a racist. He's single if you're, you're looking. Oh, Larson, I'm not. I mean, I'm not. Oh, no, I was kidding. Last computer beeps, okay. Ah, that's not what it looks like. Look, it's your business. Okay, we're doing some research. We're holding some focus groups on autoerotic asphyxiation and cross-stretching. Look, if you and your boyfriend want to swap email, selfie emails. Oh, no, he's not my boyfriend. No, 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 he slept together a couple of times at uni. Not like that. He's just an ordinary guy. He's not Abraham Chong. And no, not saying he is, was. I moved through these experimental phase, was he? Yes, into the afterlife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he passed on very recently. Oh. oh. I wonder, I'm sorry. I hope he doesn't come as a shock to you. Then seeing him, ah, the, on the computer. Yeah, I think that was a third person there. You sure? Not really. You can go to, you can't go to a funeral. Why not? You don't even know the guy. He had sex, we had sex, we shared fluids. Oh, fluid sharers. They get to sit up the front, very funny. Can you even great crash your funeral anyway? It seems like a particularly poor form. I'm not great crashing. A family put the details in the paper. They want people to come. Brendan Atherton hadn't died. You were referring to him as a dickhead that from uni. If he'd given you more than a chance, he might have fallen completely in love. You might have been able to aim his pay to we at your bosom instead of your eye. Uncalled for. I just think you're gonna being over and really cement some some cemental for no reason. What good is it gonna gonna come from you going? I might get some closure. Oh my god, I might I might even have a little cry. I might be the kind of person who has a little cry at funerals. It's going all strange. Don't don't be it won't be weird if you come with me. No way, please. I can me- barely remember what Brendan Anton looks like. You say yes. No, fine. Go by myself. Good. I'll be, I'll be alone at the funeral. Will you stop all alone at the funeral? You're going to have a little cry now, alone. Do you want me to call the, the world ambulance? Soft murmuring. Whoa, whoa. Hello, I'm Trish Hatterton, Brendan's mother. Hello. My gosh, it's so nice to meet you after all these years. Yes, you too. I recognise you from the photographs, of course. Yes, the photographs there. Brendan just adored you. You made such an impact. Yes, well, he did. He did me. Well, yes, as he did on me. You know, he used to refer to us as the one, that, you as the one that got away. He would have given anything to have another chance for you, Doug. Ah, oh, this is Ruth. Ah, oh, hello, hello. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, I'm sorry for yours. Have you met Brendan's girlfriend, Imogen? Oh, oh, hi, hello. You know, you two could be sisters, submarine music. Somber music plays to tough day, isn't it, Danny V? Oh God, I haven't seen you in ages. Well, not since that. Well, at a party where Blair always did throw pretty well parties, didn't he? Yeah. So how have you been? What have you been up to? You're working with the local... Are you working? Yeah. You're living locally? You're still living with your brother? Around here? Sorry, do you mind? I just... If you just take a minute. Moment. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me, Ruth? Oh, hello. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Atherton. Can you... Are you right up? 
Do you write for a lift to wait the week? Oh, yes, go, I'll just get a bus. We, c we can give you a lift. I w w don't want to be in trouble. No, we're right, to, we're right to drive you. There's plenty of room in the car. You know, I think Brenda would be quietly chuffed by the fault of you riding the old family Merc. Wouldn't he be, wouldn't he, Doug? I think he'd be thrilled. There you go, then. Ah, oh, shall we put on the radio for a bit? A little music might be nice. Dobby Dobby sings my horizon. She's a slice of heaven. Da dum 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 da dum. You got balls showing up today. Sorry. You should. How could you treat Brendan like that? Like what? Like shit? Don't treat Brendan like sh I didn't treat Brendan like shit. Really sensitive. I uh, look. I didn't didn't know. So you think I didn't mean to hurt him, really? Excuse me, one tick. Whispers, oh, thank goodness. Just the kind of guy you go into your time, go in your time of need, you know. He'd... No, really, rock solid. Yeah, we hadn't had a lot of contact with in recent years. We're Facebook friends, though. Oh, it's held sharply. Sorry, it's just today's really hard, you know. It must be hard for you, too. Yes, it is, I bet. Really nice to see you, Davy. You too, I mean, I know the circumstances aren't great. No kidding, listen. Do you want to get a cab or something? We we could talk more. That'd be great. Okay, where to, mate? Just to Bridge Street Station, thanks, mate. Where are you? Yeah, let's get just head up to the station, okay? You look really good, by the way. Not really, my hair's all fuzzy. No, 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 it looks, I think it looks nice, little Teddy. Whoa, sorry, did I miss time? That mis I mistimed it. W what was that? Are you just pulling a move there? Well, yeah, yes, frankly. I thought you touched my hair. Wasn't it? Is it wasn't we that while you were going back to your place? No, I thought you were dropping me off at the station and then you were going on. After the, after the, after the what? After the thought I wanted to talk more about Brendan. That would be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? We, if we just had, we were just a funeral. Isn't it bad that you ruined a friendship between two friends once? Are you, are you still going to the station? Yes. What, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? But after the thing, we had a, a bear's party. Blair, that Brendan was devastated. I took me months to regain his trust. I got no idea that you know. You want to go and rub the salt in the wound today of all days? Guy's not even in the ground yet. You're stomping all over his grave. I'm not stomping. I just had an Id any I had any idea how you felt about about you back and at uni, how much he'd loved you. We slept together twice. I never would have gone to bed with you. I never would have done that, that with to a friend. Wait a sec, I'm not responsible for Brendan and his feelings. I barely even knew the guy. That's not how he saw it. Well, I don't know how he saw it. We slept together a couple of times, had a few hellos around campus, and that was it. To be honest, he was terrible in bed. He got all weird and stalky after we shagged, and at this very moment, I wish I'd never met, all right? He was, you are a real piece of work, you know that? What? There's a word for people like you, where I come from. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's fucking slur, slut. Stop the cab. There's two words. Don't you go to boys, go to boys grammar? No. That kind of language one would expect from. Door opens. Look, I understand you're upset. But you and your assumptions are just rank, rack off, Brenda. Brendan, he sent me with one Christmas card. How was I supposed to know? Just drive to the freeway, please. Screech, try to screech. Jesus, woman screams. It's awful, terrible. It came out of nowhere, I can imagine. Did you manage to see where the other one, the driver, came from? No, I didn't see anything until the guy landed, slam on my windscreen. I mean, look at that. A guy bleeds to death on my, on my car. I'm going to feel very funny cleaning that off. And uh, madam? I didn't see anything. Sorry. Sorry. Bit upset, of course. Just like hitting a monkey with a cricket mat. A guy who is being a bit of a prick, but no one deserves that. I'm not sure that helps. Two of them. Two? I know. Bit full on. Is right in front of me. You poor thing. And you know, it took virgin Brenda's virginity. Isn't it outrageous? He didn't. 
We didn't say anything. Maybe he was embarrassed. Imagine being someone's first time and not knowing. What would you have done differently if you'd known? I don't know. I mean, some little cakes as a pop. A party popper at the end, been a little bit for, well forgiving about his mistakes. The overly sentimental over Brendan Amberton, a real worry. What is not? Is it not? You're being that way about Leighton. I don't I understand, but Brendan Amberton uh, was hardly a blip on the radar. I loved Leighton. Everyone loved Leighton. We were good together, wasn't we? We worked. He was the first big love. I know. He never, I never told him that. You took, you told him you loved him? Yes. But I never told him he was my first. I wanted it to be, and he wanted it to be, I don't know, specificated. And then he broke my heart. Might even like, like, even, he might not even live at his brother's anymore, but he does. Are you sure you want to do this? this is what people do after they had a shock. They call the people they loved and let them know how precious life is. I thought that was the AA. Shh, my answering phone. Hang up. Answer on the machine. Told you you lived, he still lived here, there. God, look what we know. Good, look what we know. Hang up. Hello, Leighton. It's Rue here. I haven't spoken to you for years, and um, I keep on going through some things. Nothing serious. Well, kind of serious, I guess, but not a tra- sexually transmitted disease or anything. Oh yeah, this is going well, isn't it? Ex- shit. Well, that was awesome. I could, I should, could call you back. I highly advise against it. I can't leave just it like that. You said shit and hang up. At least he didn't want to end up in a sexually transmitted disease bit. Marie and Keys writes books about people like you. Hi, me again. Ah, look, there was a bit of a strange message, so I just thought I'd call back and say, actually, I'm not entirely sure what I wanted to say. I hang up. Ah, oh, that was just EJ telling me to hang me to hang up. Sorry, I shouldn't have hung up like that. You think you have a go? Sure, go. Home, phone beats. Please stop. Please stop. Just stop. What you are high? It's me again. Look, this is getting weird, I know. But a fault. Just had a fault. Uh, anyway, anyway. Anyway, listen, Leighton. I did want to tell you that even though I never made it clear when we were together, can you please stop calling here? Was he there? Did he pick up? It was his brother, Leighton's dead theme music. <laughs> 